Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at something called mean absolute deviation. So we're going to talk about what is the mean absolute deviation and how do we calculate the mean absolute deviation. So let's talk about what it is first. Basically, it tells us how far each number is from the mean or the average. So it's the average of the distances between the mean of the data set and the individual numbers of the data set. So if you have a higher mean absolute deviation, that means your numbers are more spread out um, and the data is farther from the average. So you're gonna have a higher range of the numbers. And then if our mean absolute deviation is lower, the less spread there is in the data. Um, so that means there's a lower range, the numbers are not as far apart. And these are the steps, it looks like a lot, but you guys will get it down. Basically you find the mean, and then you find the differences, which we'll talk about what difference is in a minute, and then you find the mean of those differences. So first step, you should know how to do this, is just to find the mean or average of the data set by adding all of your numbers together and then dividing by however many numbers there are in the data set. Okay, this is the data set we're working with. I had an extra number in there, I had to white it out. So we're gonna find, start by finding the average of five, seven, two, one, three, six, and four. So let's add all those numbers together. Five plus seven plus two plus one plus three plus six plus four. So five plus seven plus two plus one plus three plus six plus four is 21. Oh, I missed a seven in there. Okay, five plus seven plus two plus one plus three plus six plus four is 28. And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So to find the mean, we will do 28 divided by seven, so that means our mean is four. So step number one was to find the mean, which we did, and it was four. Okay, now step number two is to find the distance each value is from the mean by subtracting each value from the mean. Then we are going to take the absolute value of the differences. Absolute value, if you have forgotten, is the distance from zero, so the numbers will always be positive. So basically, I'm going to subtract each of my numbers, which I already wrote over here, wrote over here, from four, and if I get a negative number, I'm just gonna make it positive. So basically, I'm just subtracting them from the mean. Five minus four is negative one, 7 minus 4 is 3, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, I'm almost done. I did the differences. Now remember, I have to take the absolute values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out this list of numbers, but I'm just going to make them positive. So my positive absolute values are 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 0. So there are the distances that each number is from the mean, which was 4. Okay, so I found the mean, I found the differences, and then I took their absolute values, which I wrote here. Now I'm going to find the mean of those differences. So I'm gonna find the mean again of all of those absolute values that I just found in step two, and this is the mean absolute deviation. So now all I do is find the average again. I'm gonna add these numbers together. One plus three plus two plus three plus one plus two plus zero. I'm going to use the calculator. 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 12. Okay, and then my last step to find the mean of these is to divide how by how many there were, and we know there were seven numbers in this data set. And 12 divided by 7 is 1.7 one, four, two, and so on. And they don't tell us what to round to, so I'm just gonna round to the nearest hundredth, 1.71. So there is our final answer. 
the mean absolute deviation of this data set is 1.71. That means that each number in our original data set is on average 1.71 away from the mean of four. Okay, let's look at our next example. Remember, step one is to find the mean. So it says find the mean absolute deviation of the data set below. So let's start by finding the mean. I'm going to add these five numbers together. So 21 plus 26 plus 46 plus 44 plus 22 is 159. And then I divide by however many numbers there were, which was five. So 159 divided by five. So my mean is 31.8. Okay, so that was my first step to find the mean. Now my second step, remember, is to find the differences and then take the absolute values of those differences from the mean. So I like to write out all of my numbers, 21, 26, 46, 44, and 22. And then I'm going to subtract the mean of 31.8 from all of them. So 21 minus 31.8 is negative 10.8. And then 26 minus 31.8 is negative 5.8. And 46 minus 31.8 is 14.2. And then 44 minus 31.8 is 12.2. And then 22 minus 31.8 is negative 9.8. Okay, now I want to write out all of these positive values because remember we're dealing with distances here. So 10.8, that would go to a positive 5.8, 14.2, 12.2, and 9.8. Okay, so let's look at our steps. We found the mean, we found the differences in their absolute values. Now I have to find the mean of those differences. So I wrote out my differences over here. Now I'm going to add them together because that's the first step in finding the mean of them. Be careful whenever you are typing into your calculator. It's a lot of numbers to type in. You might want to do it twice just to double check. Okay, I was checking my numbers as I went. I think I did it correctly and I added all of them and got a sum of 52.8. And remember, we're finding the mean of this. So the last thing I need to do is divide by however many numbers there were in the data set, which was five. And that will be my mean absolute deviation. I get 10.56. So that means on average, each number is 10.56 away from the mean of 31.8. Okay, last one, it says find the mean absolute deviation of the temperature over five days in Austin, Texas. So sometimes they'll do this where they give you a table and the table has two columns of different numbers. Make sure you know which column you are finding the mean absolute deviation of. It says to find it of the temperatures. So I'm gonna be dealing with these numbers right here. So first thing I need to do is find the mean of them. So I'm gonna add them together. 80 plus 77 plus 79 plus 78 plus 76. So 80 plus 77 plus 79 plus 78 plus 76, I get 390. And there were five numbers, so I'm gonna divide by five and that will tell me the mean of this data. And I get 78. So my mean is 78. So now I need to subtract each number from the mean. I'm gonna write them out here. Actually, you know what, they're already written here. So I'm just going to subtract from 78 right here. So 80 minus 78 is two. 77 minus 78 is negative one. 
79 minus 78 is 1. 78 minus 78 is 0. And 76 minus 78 is negative 2. Okay, now remember I want the absolute values because we're dealing with distance. So my absolute values are 2, 1, 1, 0, and 2. I just took those negative numbers and made them positive. Okay, now my last step is to find the mean of those distances by adding the numbers together. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 is 6. And then my last step is to divide by however many numbers there were, which was 5. And 6 divided by 5 is 1.2. So this is a really low number. That means that the numbers in my data set were super close to the average of 78, which is true. We can see that.